we are sure if you clicked into this video, you are planning how one day, you'll be able to afford luxuries like your own private jet or super yacht, or employing a full-time housing staff, and maybe even buying a sports team for good measure. Yes, we're talking about joining the ranks of those lucky people with 10-figure bank balances, the world's billionaires. We know it's one of the reasons why you're here. As we've found with business sectors most of the world's billionaires earn their big bucks in. In other words, the industries that are most likely to give you access to this elite group. So, stick with us till the end, and you'll find out which industry takes the number one spot. And you'll also get to hear some insider tips into where these industries will be heading in the coming years. So, without any further ado, let's look at the 10 most likely industries that can make you a billionaire. Number 10. Engineering. 4% of billionaires come from this sector. To join them, basically, you'll need to design a piece of engineering wizardry that can solve a problem that nobody's addressed before. One that's clever enough to disrupt an entire sector of the market. An example is James Dyson, who invented the world's first bagless vacuum cleaner. And since then, he's branched out to a range of other appliances, including washing machines, and hand dryers. Thanks to these pieces of savvy engineering, he's worth $16 billion, making him the UK's richest individual. If you've got an idea that's smart enough, and the knowledge to see it through to completion, you could even do it without any formal qualifications in engineering. Believe it or not, James Dyson doesn't have any. Number 9. Media and Entertainment. People will always want to be entertained. Music, films, TV computer games, YouTube channels, or whatever forms of entertainment people dream up in the future. These are always going to be a big part of our lives. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that 4% of billionaires made their money in this field. And social media means that if you're an entertainer, it's never been easier to create a platform to brand yourself. People who made their billions from entertainment include, Oprah and Jay-Z, they both demonstrate that entertainers getting into the ranks of the super rich, helps to branch out from your core activity. In Oprah's case, publishing, and in Jay-Z's, fashion. Number 8, Energy. For a long time, this has been one of the surest ways to get wealthy. In the early days of the modern economy, many of the first super rich made their fortunes in energy, like oil tycoon, John D. Rockefeller. And 4% of today's billionaires come from this sector. We all consume energy, so this isn't likely to change. What will change is the type of energy we consume. And the booming sector in the near future is bound to be renewable energy. Renewable energy is not only cheaper than oil or gas, it's unlimited in supply too. Solar is the fastest growing energy source. It's expected to increase to between 5% and 20% in the next few years. Elon Musk has invested heavily in solar, with Tesla's subsidiary Solar City. There's also huge potential for people who can come up with innovative solutions and other renewables like wind power and hydropower, as well as eco-friendly energy storage systems. Number 7. Fashion. You may not expect the fashion industry to hit this list. However, in this age of time, clothing is more than just a basic necessity. We're happy to spend money to wear something that's good looking. And for many people, one of the biggest motivations for putting in long hours is to be able to splash out on some high-end branded goods at the weekend. Also, factor in that successful designers can make huge markups. That's because fashion items are priced by their perceived value more than the costs of commodities, or real differentiation with other brands. If you hit on the right formula, there's huge potential to make big bucks. The fashion industry has produced 5% of the world's billionaires, including Nike founder, Phil Knight, as well as familiar names like Giorgio Armani and Ralph Lauren. Number 6. Healthcare. Of course, one of our most basic needs is to stay healthy. And we pay huge amounts of money on it. Whether directly on health bills, through taxes, or on health insurance, a large portion of this money makes its way into the bank balances of 6% of the world's billionaires. And it's no surprise that the pandemic has lifted more people in this industry up to billionaire status. And sure, being a doctor can make you wealthy but never a billionaire. The real potential is in the pharmaceutical industry, or designing innovative medical devices, or founding a chain of private hospitals or clinics. The top end of the world's super rich in healthcare is taken mostly by owners of pharma companies, with five of the top 10 spots being occupied by Chinese billionaires. If you've got the know-how and the drive, 
You can make waves in this industry wherever you're from. Number 5, Food and Beverage. Whatever's happening in the world, we'll always need to eat and drink. And currently, around 8% of the world's billionaires come from food or drink background. To become one of them, you have got to figure out novel ways of producing food, or preparing and distributing it. People on the super-rich list in this field include heirs to fortunes, including members of the Mars and Hanukin families. But there are also quite a few self-made billionaires in this group, like China's Zhuang Qinghao, who made his money through bottled drinks giant, Waha, and is now worth $12 billion. Number 4, Tech and Business Services. Almost all business sectors relies on tech. Businesses use it to do transactions, distribution, logistics, and for much more. Of course, we depend on tech to be entertained, to chat, or to shop. And 9% of billionaires made their fortunes in tech, and the numbers will only go upwards. More new softwares and hardwares are being developed, while older versions are being upgraded. Moreover, with the arrival of 5G, it looks like this is going to keep on accelerating. It's not only the field for billionaires like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, but also a boom area for young billionaires. Young and self-made billionaires can also be found in this field. They include, Evan Spiegel, founder of Snapchat, and John Collison, founder of Stripe. The key is to look ahead at the technologies that's arriving, and see what opportunities it opens up. Some of these upcoming big areas include, AI, self-driving cars, VR, and augmented reality. Number 3, Real Estate. With the population growing, shelters are going to be even more in demand. And keep in mind that for most of us, buying a house will be one of the biggest transactions we make in life. No doubt that huge amounts of money can be made in real estate, with 9% of billionaires today belonging to this industry. There are several paths into it. You could start off as a real estate agent. Or you could set up a construction firm or be a supplier of construction materials. Some of the best players in this field include Shi Jia Yin, who's worth $37 billion, and Stephen Ross, who's worth $7.6 billion. Now is a great time to start expanding your fortune, as some of the largest markups in recent years have been in real estate. Number 2, Banking and Finance. Think of any hugely successful company, in any industry. Behind that success there was somebody who knew exactly how to deploy money and then grow it. And thanks to their investment choices, they didn't just make that company a success, they also grew their own wealth big time. This industry produced 15% of the world's billionaires today. Some of them made it as private investors. Others from setting up investment firms. And others as venture capitalists. Warren Buffett is known by many as the world's greatest investor, and with a net worth of $90 billion. Number 1, Data Science. Every day, there will be a huge volume of data generated by all the organizations and companies. Hence, these data need to be gathered, sorted, and analyzed to create actionable insights for solving the company's or customer's problem, and also to generate valuable ideas for the future growth of the company. You can safely say that, as long as the industry is big enough, there will be endless data for you to analyze. Some industry uses will include, travel, where data science helps to create customer profiles based on segmentation, and offer customers personalized experiences. Reed Hastings, founder of Netflix, with a net worth of $2.5 billion is a great example of a billionaire in this industry. The company keep track, and analyze their users' individual viewing habits, and suggests what they want to watch next. This keep their users on their platform for as long as possible. Now, though being a data scientist or analyst can make you a millionaire, but it cannot make you a billionaire, as those are just jobs. It is only the product or service that you provide that are going to bring you profits and make billions. Moreover, data science is a relatively new industry. Meaning, now is the perfect time to enter, and start making bucks as the industry grows. Sure, all these industries can make you a billionaire. However, it will be impossible if you are not spending the time to improve, and work hard in these areas. However, doing so still wouldn't make you a billionaire. What helps you to make billions, is your competitive advantage, which in most cases, will be your creativity, and ability to bring new things to the market. Your competitive advantage should allow you to stand out among the other competitors in your industry to attract most of the customers and win. This video on the top right corner will teach you exactly how you can find your competitive advantage.
Which industry do you think will produce the most billionaires in the next 20 years? Let us know in the comments. Here is a bonus for sticking with us till the end. Maybe you're thinking the best way is to choose one of these industries and work really hard, right? Well, probably wrong. Sure, statistically speaking, these areas do have the highest chances of turning people into billionaires. But remember, the world's billionaires come from a wide range of business areas. And if we are talking about a formula to become a billionaire, or just wealthy, you can be sure it's not randomly picking an industry from this list. A much better solution is, go with your passions, and spot a need that nobody is addressing. Do take note that most of the people we've mentioned in this video probably didn't set out with the aim of becoming billionaires. There are only around 2,000 billionaires in the world at the moment. That's roughly 1 in 4 million of the world's population. And of the self-made ones, it's safe to say that they all did two things. First, they follow their passion. You'll never be motivated enough to put the long hours in, and you'll never have those stroke of genius insights you're going to need, unless you're passionate about the field you're in. And second, once you know what you're passionate about, you need to spot a need for something that nobody else has figured out before. Following these steps can't guarantee that you'll make it as a billionaire. But it will allow you to enjoy your journey. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked this video, which we recommend you watch next, and we will see you back in the next video.